In this video, we're going to be going over how to use the chamfer tool in Onshape. Um, so we're going to start off by creating this little 2 by one uh, Lego brick, and the chamfer tool is going to help us be able to uh, cut out this missing piece, okay? Um, so if we go to Onshape, I'm just going to create a sketch on my front face. Uh, I'm going to grab my rectangle tool, and again, I would change this to millimeters to make your life a little more simple. We know that this is 15.6, and we know that the Lego bricks are 9.6 millimeters tall. Let's say OK. We can extrude this. We know that they are 7.8 millimeters thick. So now I have my 2 by one Lego brick. Um, so what I'm going to do now is if I go to my chamfer tool, which is right here next to the fillet tool, we're going to click on chamfer, and what I can do is I can actually come up and click on my edge point. And this just helps you get beveled edges, and it's really good for um, slanting pieces like this. Um, something that we can do, do is we can do an equal distance. Um, so that means that from this point and this point will be the same. Um, or we can actually do two different distances. Um, so for this distance one, let's see, is this our top one? Okay, so this is our side one right here. Um, if we look at our piece, we notice that we have a little bit down here. Um, we could call that the wall thickness size right there, so that's 1.2. So if we're trying to go down one, and we want 1.2 remaining, we'll do 9.6 minus 1.2, so 8.4 millimeters. That looks perfect, and we know that from uh, our end point to the center is 7.8 millimeters. So that is how we would do this slant right here using the chamfer. And of course, at the end, you could go back here. You could add your Lego stud in right here. You could um, use our shell tool and shell that out, and you would have a finished uh, two-by-one uh, Lego sloped piece using the chamfer tool.